Hi everyone, I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs here. Thank you for joining me today. I wanted to teach you today how I make these little gift tags. And I make these tiny little cards. Because if you're anything like me, I hate buying cards at the store. I would rather make them myself. So these are just simple little cards that I made. And I'm using alcohol ink markers, which do seep through the paper, but that's not a big deal. As long as it doesn't seep through where you're writing, that's fine. And these are some others that I made using um, watercolors, but I'm not going to show you that today because I'm just learning watercolors. So this is just stuff that I did while practicing. Um, just a couple of colorful cards. Go through them real quick. Very simple, but very pretty. And um, I think it means so much more when you make it yourself. It's like uh, giving two gifts, a piece of art and whatever you purchased for the person. Anyway, so I'm going to go through the list of um, supplies that you'll need. I'm using watercolor paper and all the links to all the products used in this video will be in the description box below so take a look if you have any questions. Um, so the water paper that I purchased on Amazon was very very inexpensive. I think I got 50 sheets for like ten dollars um, and it's not great for painting watercolors because apparently the quality of the paper you use gives you better results. So um, I figured I would use these car this paper rather to make the cards with and that way I'm not being wasteful. So I've cut my watercolor paper into different sizes and um, tiny sizes for the gift cards, I mean gift tags. And I have a hole punch, I have some micron pens and the tips on these are 0 0.15, 0 0.25, and 0 0.20. I'm using very small tips because of I'm doing very small detail work. And I have a few alcohol ink markers. I've chosen a very pale palette. You can use whatever colors you like, of course. I just happen to be rather boring and like very subtle colors. Anyway, so first we'll start with the gift tag because that's really simple. And what I did on here was with the Micron pen I drew a fern or something that resembles a fern. We're not trying to be precise here, we're just having some fun. So somewhere I have a scissor. I'm working in my kitchen because it's too cold downstairs in my basement to paint. And even though I have a heater, I'm just not comfortable and I can't paint when I'm cold. So I'm just gonna cut the corners off of here and they're not gonna be exact, that's fine. And then I'm taking my hole punch and I'm just gonna make a little hole right on top there. And I will leave this here, hopefully it's in the frame yep it is so you can see and what I did was I used um, again you can use any colors you like I just outlined the tag very simple you don't need to be able to draw a straight line nothing that we're doing here today requires precision <laughs> requires you to be exact. <laughs> there are just some words that don't flow out of my mouth and that's one of them. So now I'm using a point twenty, and again I'm not trying to be perfect here. I'm just drawing another frame just for interest.
and I'm going to try and be organized. These markers are by New Touch. They're inexpensive alcohol ink markers. Again, I bought them on Amazon, and I'll put the link in the description below. And these are perfect for, for this. So I'm going to draw a rectangle and then fill it in. I can't stress it enough. Don't try to be perfect. It doesn't have to be. We're just having fun. And let's try lavender. And I'll try pink for the inside. This is a really bright pink. Wish I had something softer, but I don't, so. And now to draw the fern, it's very easy. I'm going to use a 0 0.20 tip. You just draw an arched line and then you draw the stems and as you go down you make each stem extend a little bit wider and then I like to go a little bit more narrow or smaller at the bottom and then these little petals, let me stand up so you can see and bring this closer. They're just little teardrops. So you're just drawing, let me come closer, bring this closer so you can see. And I'm sorry about the lighting. Again, I'm working in my kitchen, so I have as many lights on in here as I can. But, so start at your tip and make a little teardrop. And continue those little teardrops along your stems that you've drawn. I like to leave a little space between mine. And in this one here, I drew my uh, too, too much space in between the stems, so I drew some little petals in between to bring it together. So you're going to continue drawing these little teardrops. And I may have done the same thing here with my uh, the space in between my stems, but no biggie. I can always fill it in. These are quick and easy. And like I said, they're, they're fun to make, and I think it's much more personal. And if you make a set of them, it would also be a really nice gift for someone. A box of blank cards and a few gift tags. In fact, I'm actually considering making a few of these and giving them as a gift. Because there's been so many times where I've needed a card and as I said, I hate buying cards. But uh, like I said, they're blank inside, so you can write something across the top, uh, bottom or the top. You can write inside, but uh, my penmanship for doing like uh, calligraphy or these pretty letters that I see people do is not that great. I tried, and um, that that's going to be my next thing to learn is uh, how to letter better. <laughs> but I know they have those rub-on letters. You can also use that. And you can make, if you have good penmanship, you can write best wishes, congratulations, happy birthday, whatever.
So as you can see, there's really nothing difficult about this. And there you go, you have a gift tag. And um, for the holidays, you can draw ornaments on it, just keeping it very simple. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but how nice would it be to receive a gift of, I don't know, maybe six of these and uh, six of the gift tags, wrap it up in a pretty box, put some pretty ribbon on it, and I think it's a great gift. Okay, so now we're going to do this one. This one is very, very simple. You can add more detail if you like, but I kept it simple. And I'll show you how I fold the cards because this paper is 140 pounds. So uh, that's the weight of the paper. It's not really 140 pounds. But anyway, um, to fold it, you need to um, score it. Otherwise, it doesn't fold well. Now, this one I've made so it folds this way. But this is what I do. I take it. And then I just pinch on the top where the fold would be. And somewhere I have a ruler. Here it is. So I put my ruler up against that fold. And then I use one of these, um, I'm not sure what it's called, a stylus. They have the little balls at the end. They're used for dotting. Anyway, I use that to score it. and it makes it fold much better. See, nice and neat. All right, so let's get that out of the way. So here I've drawn some simple little flowers. I think these are buttercups, and I'm not even sure what those are, but we're gonna do that. So choose your background color. Um, using dark blue gray. And you can go either horizontally or vertically, whatever way you want to make your lines. And they don't have to be perfect. You can go over them if you want to darken it a little bit. And if you want to, you can just make it a square. I think I'll do that for this one here. You can add borders. Okay, so now to draw this little flower, it's very simple. You can use a pencil if you want to so that you can um, decide this, the, how you want your flowers. So just for the sake of showing you how these flowers are made, um, I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to draw a triangle. I want another one over here, so I'll draw another triangle. And then for my, are they buttercups? I'm not even sure. Anyway, I'll draw a circle, because that's where my flower is going to be. So these are just guides. And here, because I want this little buttercup cup to face towards the um, corner, I'm going to draw an oval. And okay, that's my guide for my flowers. And you can erase these flowers, I mean these lines, these pencil lines when we're finished. And I'll show you the best eraser to use for that. So here for this, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not even sure what this is. Maybe it's an open tulip if you like. Draw a triangle in the center and then just come out from the side and join it at the bottom. We're going to do the same over here. How simple is that? And now, again, this, um, this one here, because I want it facing up, I'm going to draw the center closer to the bottom of that oval. And then I'll begin to do my petals. And because this one is, you're seeing a profile of it, it's going to be shorter and wider. It doesn't have to be wider, but you can make it wider if you want. 
Okay, that was easy. Now this one I want it to be facing me, so I'm going to draw a circle in the middle and just do four simple petals. And then I'm just going to dot in the center for a little shadow. But they're small, so it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Now I'm going to connect these flowers. So I'm going to draw my first stem and connect with that one. And now let me figure out which way I want to go with this. So make sure that your stems come right from the center. What would be the center of your flower? Okay. Now, as far as erasers are concerned, let me find my, of course, now it's gone. I have two erasers. This is a soft eraser. Oh, here's the other one. This is a soft eraser. It came with a set of stumps that I bought. And I like it. It erases well, but it creates a lot of... Um, and it, it, it will erase through the alcohol ink. And it does not erase the, the ink or the marker. But it makes a mess. This is... Um, oh, gosh, I forgot what these are called. A kneadable eraser and it doesn't make that mess so you can easily erase your lines without the mess of, that the other eraser makes either one is good it's a matter of personal preference I happen to like this one because I make enough of a mess I don't need any help okay so now we're going to draw some leaves and for the uh, triangle shaped flower, I'm just going to draw a stem, a little black teardrop, color it in, color it in. How easy is that? You don't even have to color the whole thing in. It doesn't matter. Just keep it simple. That's the whole purpose here is making something pretty but easy. And then I don't like the way that stem is going, so I'm going to continue it down. And now let's give this one some, let's do some more here. And for this one, we're going to do a different type of leaf. Going to be pointy. This one will be tucked. And we're just going to put in some veins. I don't even know if that's the right term, but that's what I'm calling it. And you can add more if you like. I'm going to keep it simple, but I think I want to add a little border. So I'm going to use my 0.25 marker and add a border. Notice that my lines are not straight. at all. And then I'm going to frame that as well. Very simple, very pretty. You can take another marker and you can do the same thing that we did 
on the side here if you like you don't have to but that's a pretty card you can also punch a hole in it if you want to use these as gift tags write a little message inside you can punch a hole in it and attach it to your gift bag if you like so there's two versions of that and next next we're going to do this one this was fun so um let's see let me find a small one and now to make envelopes for these different sizes you can use um printer paper and you just lay your card on the printer paper take a pencil trace it lightly and then make triangles from those folds fold everything over and you have an envelope or you can just um let's pretend this paper towel is the your piece of paper you can take um stick glue trace your your um card on a piece of paper fold it over glue it on one side make a flap for it you can make envelopes very easily so i'm not going to go into too much detail about that now excuse me one second i will I adjust my camera again i'm hoping that it doesn't fall like it usually does all right so now to make let me go further away all right i hope i was in frame all that while i was yapping anyway this one is a lot of fun and it's really cute so again we're going to take our piece of paper we're going to fold it and i really suggest you use something to score it because see how thick this is it doesn't fold very well this paper is really heavy which makes it perfect for this so take your ruler pinch the corners where um, the fold should be take your stylus and just score it lightly go over it a couple of times I'm working on a gel mat so I'm trying not to push too hard because I can go right through it because I've got a little cushion there okay so you can see how it scores it really nicely and now it should fold much better and you can go over it like this just to make it better and there you go all right, so for this one, let me choose my colors. I used a pink, blue, I think I used this color, and this one, and I used a wine color. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Now all I did for this one was I took the pink, Right. This had, these markers have two tips. It has a, a fine tip and a broad tip. So I'm using the broad tip and I'm just making these little circles, these little spirally circles. Then I took this one and I made some triangle shapes. little flowers I'm using the fine tip and all I'm doing is making four little circles this is not the same color I used but and you'll see how we turn those into flowers in a moment and it's okay to leave a little white space in between your circles Okay, now I'm going to use my 0 0.20 micron pen. And all I did was draw, let me come a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. All right, 
I was probably not in frame all that other while. Sorry about that. I'm drawing a small little circle and I'm just going around and stopping when I've reached the width that I like. And these are supposed to be like little roses. And for the petals, just draw a fat leaf. that's kind of hiding behind the flower. And you can draw as many as you like for each flower. You don't have to draw two. You can do three. Oops, that came a little wonky. And then to fill it in and to give it this, this look, have the veins pointing up and kind of arch them. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Keep it very simple and make sure I'm still in frame. I am. So I know that this is going to be a long video and I actually thought of doing the video and then doing a voiceover, but I know a lot of you like to see things in real time. So I decided to just do it in real time. Feel free to fast forward if you like. I won't be offended. <laughs> one. So I've been trying to teach myself watercolor. I used to do it when I was very, very young. And not that I was great at it, but I had a lot of fun with it. But then I had children and there went my free time. So I've been trying to teach myself watching YouTube videos and all that. I've been having a lot of fun. I haven't been doing the alcohol inks so much lately, but, um, I figured I would do something that's very simple. You don't have to bring out the inks if you've got markers. Very easy. Now for these little flowers that we made with the four circles, just draw the center and then just outline some petals. And you don't have to stay within the color that you've put down, which I think makes it much more interesting. I like that look. And the petals don't have to be any specific shape. They don't have to be flat at the top or pointy. They can be whatever you want. You can use both. And we're not trying to make them point in any direction. You know, giving you a profile of the flower or anything. We're keeping this really simple. This is a great um, art project to do when you're bored or if you've lost your mojo, which I sometimes do, and I just can't come up with any ideas of what to paint or I just go into a funk. 
And these are little projects that kind of help me uh, become inspired to do more. Okay, so these are the triangle flowers. So within the triangle, we're going to draw a long triangle and then petals from the side. Uh, where'd I go with this one? This way. Okay, now, to do these little flowers here, I mean, rather, leaves, see what I did? I just drew a leaf, and then I kind of drew the letter B inside of it. Again, very simple. Draw your stem. Draw your little, almost like a teardrop. I like to do them in groups of three. And then come from the tip of the petal or leaf. And you can do a letter B inside of it. Easy. They don't have to be three leaves. You can draw two, whatever you want. Keep going out of frame. I apologize for that. And then I used you know what, I think I'll use the purple instead of the wine color. And just for a little vibrancy, I drew these. I'm not even coloring, coloring in the whole center. just to add a splash of color. They don't all have to be big, they can be small. You just wanna add some more color in here. And they can come from all different directions. That's good. Okay, snap that cap back on there. All right, so now to fill in the uh, petals of my flowers, I used the, um, the fine tip of my marker and I just went along the outline and the center. I didn't fill in the whole petal, or rather leaf. And I did the same for the, um, this is not the same color. Bear with me one second. What happened to my other marker? I'm not sure. Anyway, for the, um, the leaves with the B inside of them, I just outlined the leaf shape. Now 
You can add more detail if you like, or keep it simple. Then I took my point twenty. I wish there were an easier way to see the size of the marker. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back here. I used, um, I want the blue, this one. The broad tip of my marker and I just ran it along the edge of my card. And if you have a petal or something in the way, just skip over it. Not a big deal. I think that makes it much more interesting. Then I took my point twenty marker a pen and I just outlined that blue line I drew. Again, skipping over any petals or flowers that are in the way. And not trying to be perfect with my lines either. If it's straight, I got lucky. And if it's not, it just gives it character. So there you have two versions of that card. Again, really simple. And don't worry about the bleeding inside. That's not a big deal as long as the area where you can write your note is remains clear. All right, so this is the last one. And this one was a lot of fun and very easy as well. We're going to take our card, our paper rather, fold it in half. Make sure you can get it. This paper is so thick it's hard to fold. It really is. But it's perfect for the cards. So that's why I deal with it. Plus I bought it, so it's mine. <laughs> now i got to use it. So put your ruler down, use your stylus, score it so it folds nicely. Once you've got it folded, go over it again just to press it down. And don't worry if it doesn't fold well, put that in the back. Nobody will ever see it. All right, so now for this one. I just took some random colors and I'll do that again. I'm using the broad end of the markers and I'm drawing some squares or rectangles, whatever you want. They're not even centered properly. That's okay. That's part of the look. So we'll use that one. Um, Now, you know, I'm using pretty uh, light colors, kind of pastel-y colors, but you can use bright colors. This would look really pretty using bright colors. I'm just partial to these muted colors. Okay, so we've got our three boxes. You don't have to do three, you can do two. Keep it simple. All right, so I'm going to come in close so that you can see the detail that I'm putting in. Oh, okay, so I can't get any closer than I am. All right, so these little flowers that I'm drawing are pretty simple. You can choose anything you like. I have um, a little reference here of little flowers that I might go to flowers. Uh, let me go further away so you can see the whole thing. So these are my reference flowers. I also have, um, I learned this from a video. I thought it was a great idea. These are some other flowers that I've drawn that I can reference when I'm um, doing illustrations and add more detail, of course. These are just basic, but it's nice to have something to go back to. 
can use, because sometimes my mind goes blank. So I think for these, I'm going to use, uh, to draw the flower itself, I'm going to use a thicker tip. This is a 0.25. So you don't have to stay within the, um, the little boxes that you've drawn, but this is very simple. Draw your arched line and a rounded petal. You can make them as big or as small as you like. I want to do mine big because I want to go outside the box. And then just draw your little line inside your leaf. And that you got your first one finished. Now in the second one here, let me come closer again. Hold on. All right. So in the second one, I have little little, um, what is this, lavender. So I'm going to draw my couple of sprigs here, one here, and I'll do another one there. And these are easy. Again, simple, simple shapes. A teardrop, teardrop. The next one, move down a little bit, draw three teardrops, and for the bottom one, four teardrops. So start with two, then do three, and for your last one, make them a little bit bigger, draw four, and you can even draw a little extra one there. And the leaf is long and pointy. And again, we're going to keep it simple. So we're just going to draw a line in the center of it. And if you think that you could use one more little sprig, add it. And there you go. You have lavender. And these little flowers that I'm drawing are, let's find out, they are buttercups. Okay, so um, again, keeping it simple, I'm going to draw an oval because I want this one to face that way or appear to be facing that way. Make this petal shorter and make them longer towards the top. And the petals for these, or rather the leaves, again, same little teardrops. And there you go. Now I'm going to switch, because I wanted my flowers to stand out more, I drew them in a thicker tip. Now I'm going to my 15 tip, 0.15, and I'm going to outline these boxes. Again, not even trying to stay within the lines. Skipping over where I have flowers or petals or whatever outside of the box. I'm not even trying to keep them all the same size. And there you go. Easy. Oh, I, you can add a little detail. Now that I've switched over to my finer tip, I'm going to put a little, a few little lines in here. A little shading, just to show the direction of the petals. And then for the inside, just a little squiggly line. Nothing crazy. All right, so there you have it. You made two cards, three cards, 
and a gift tag. I hope you give this a try. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend with me and watch my videos. So uh, take a look in the description box if you have any questions regarding the products used to create these um, cards and gift tags. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.